Hi, this is Tracy with Salad and Wine, and we just got back from Craig's farm. So what I'm going to do is wash the lettuce really good so that we didn't bring home any bugs or critters or any worms or things like that. And then we're going to prepare the chipotle sauce for the shrimp, because that's our surprising salad. It's so awesome. It's like a spicy shrimp salad. And so I want to tear apart the lettuce, wash it really well, and crisp it up in the fridge for a couple hours. So these are nice baby lettuces. You know when you buy heads of lettuce at the grocery store? Oftentimes they're really big. Those don't have quite as good a flavor as they do when they are nice and small. So I think that fills up my basket. I am going to wash it really well and then crisp it up in the fridge because the sauce for the shrimp needs to sit for a while too so hopefully nothing lives through this process no, nothing worse than finding a worm on your salad oh. and we have an organic garden and let me tell you I have found some worms on my salad and in my peaches they like to hide next to the, the pit so, okay, I will drain it and then spin it and then bag it and put it in the fridge. So in the meantime, while that's crisping, I'm going to make the amazing sauce for the shrimp. Okay, I'll set that aside. So the first thing we're going to do for the shrimp sauce is we are going to create some lime juice. And I like to put all my dressings, as you know, in my food processor or blender. So this time we're going to use the food processor. Get it all good. So we need some lime juice. It needs about a quarter cup of lime juice. And the rest we'll save for margaritas. And I've got a cut on my finger because I can feel it burning. And since it's early in the day, I'm not having wine yet. We've got a delicious bottle of wine for later. So I'm just having some ice green tea, which I highly recommend for a hot day. It's delicious and it's good for you. So we're getting close to a quarter cup. So there's nothing left from margaritas, oh well. <laughs> we'll have to have that wine. So I'm going to pour it in the food processor. And next I've got a little bit more than a cup of chopped tomatoes. And the next ingredient is radishes. I don't cook with radishes that much, but they add a certain degree of spiciness. So I'm just going to throw them in. Seven radishes. And I'm going to take the little green stem off, even though you know you really don't need to. But when you puree a sauce, you don't need to cut off the green stuff because there's there's vitamins and stuff in there. So, so you know, I'm just going to leave them like this, okay? There's nothing wrong with the stems of the radishes. They're going to get pureed out anyway. Okay, next thing is a shallot. But I will peel the shallot. You don't want the shallot to in there. That won't taste very good. So the best way to peel a shallot is to just press on it with a large flat surface. So you can use like a knife or something to break open the shell. Except for this one didn't work so good. <laughs> okay. Oh, it did actually. It broke it open. I gotta get that one done. Okay. 
So I love shallots. You know what's a really good thing to do with shallots? You slice them and roast them in the oven. They're amazing. Like these little teeny rings you can put on top of anything. They get all crunchy. They're really good. Leeks do, do well with that too. But since this is a salad show, actually that's what I should do. I should roast some shallots and roast some leeks and then we can sprinkle those crunchy things on top of the salad. Okay, put the shallots in there. Next we need the chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. And we're gonna put a heaping tablespoon in there. Actually, yeah, like maybe it's spicy. Ooh. Next thing we want to put some horseradish in. So I'm going to put a couple tablespoons of horseradish and today, I don't know why, but I'm just kind of in the mood to eyeball everything. And this isn't coming out. I don't always, when I cook, I oftentimes just kind of guesstimate. <laughs> Except for last night, I was making butter chicken. It's this Indian dish. And I was putting the cayenne pepper into the, the sauce and the lid fell off. And I didn't I didn't tell the kids just because I thought, oh well, you know, it's like it's just gonna be a little extra spicy and I like burned their head off. Oh my gosh, they were drinking so much water. It was pretty funny. Okay, so a couple tablespoons of horseradish, some honey, about a teaspoon or so of honey. Remember to use raw and organic if you can. It helps with your allergies. And some cilantro. Unfortunately, my cilantro in my garden has decided to go to seed. I cut it all back, so I'm hoping that it um, comes back to a nice leaf, because once it goes to seed, I don't know what's gonna happen. So get some cilantro and I'm going to just stick it in here. And, whoops, salt and pepper. Okay, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. This is sea salt. That's the good kind. I'll put the cracked pepper on top of the salad, but for now we're just going to use this because it's all going to be ground up anyway. Oops, got to plug it in. So now I'm going to put this in the fridge. I'm going to crisp up the lettuce and then we will be back to prepare the shrimp. Hi, I'm back. So it's now time to marinate the shrimp. And I just got back from a massage over at Splendid Feet with my husband, so I'm going to open the wine. So today we are featuring Wild Horse Chardonnay. This wine is so yummy. Pete and I, we went there, we, we went to the wine tasting there last time we were down in San Luis. It's actually, I think, Paso Robles. And we really loved it, so we came back with a bunch of bottles, and we're so lucky because our local Rockets Market also stocks it. So I can't wait to dig into this. So my hair is probably really messy and oh well. That's what you get when you have a massage. So I'm gonna open this and then I'm going to marinate the shrimp. And also in the sauce recipe that we just had, I realized I forgot to put agave in it. So I need to add the agave to the sauce. And when you see the recipe posted on the Facebook pan page, you will see that there's agave on it. But when I was making it just now, or earlier, I forgot about it. So I'm trying to learn how to be a better wine connoisseur, so we have to swirl it, sniff it, look at the color, it's yellow, <laughs> and taste it, my favorite part. <laughs> and they always say that the second taste is the real one. At least I heard that somewhere. learning about wine tasting not so great yet but so let's go to the shrimp I got big shrimp jumbo 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 and it's super easy all you have to do is throw them in the bowl 
take some olive oil. Okay, toss it with some sea salt. And some fresh cracked pepper. So I was refilling my pepper mill and um, I accidentally spilled peppercorns all over the floor. And I have two yellow labs and they quickly retrieved them off the floor. So I'm not sure how tasty that was, but anyways, this is super easy. So all you do is olive oil, salt, pepper. These are kind of the magic ingredients to most things. And toss it all up. So I have these awesome skewers and what I'm going to do is thread the shrimp onto the skewers and then throw them out on the trigger. So I will move some stuff out of the way. I love shrimp and I love these skewers, but we've also used them at the beach to roast marshmallows. So I'm missing a few. I need to get some more. Anyways, I've got three, so we'll see how many we can load up on here. What I like about it is that when you cook the shrimp, it's nice and even and it looks pretty on the barbecue that just makes them cook nice and evenly you don't want to overcook shrimp there's nothing worse so we will throw these on the barbecue and then we will prepare our salad okay now the moment you've all been waiting for we prepare the salad so i barbecue the shrimp and they turned out excellent whoops i forgot to take off the tails okay so you take off the tails of the shrimp and then you're going to toss them in the spicy sauce. So I made two pounds like I said and so I wanted to save some for later so I'm going to um, just do half of them and save the rest for later because I have a lot of shrimp because I love this recipe so much I want to eat it for the next few days. So. That's the beauty of salad is that if you get all your ingredients prepared, then you can enjoy it for several days, which I've showed you before. So you could just bag everything all individually and then, oh, this is the piece I took a bite out of while I was at the barbecue. I better leave that one for a snack for later. And what I did was, since I ran out of skewers, I only had those three skewers, so what I did was I have a barbecue cooking pan where it's like mesh where you can, it's really good for cooking vegetables and stuff on the barbecue. And so I just tossed them on that. But the skewers are so much better because when you flip them, you flip them once and that's it. And you only have to cook them about three minutes on each side. Okay, so we've got a nice bowl of shrimp. And then we're going to take the chipotle sauce that we made earlier and toss the shrimp. Get it all nice and coated. Now the great thing about this is that you don't need much dressing because there's so much flavor in the chipotle sauce that you don't want to ruin that flavor and overwhelm it with a strong dressing. Okay, so that's all ready. We'll set that aside. I gotta wash my hands. Got a nice bowl, and here's the washed and crisped lettuce from earlier. And I just realized I want a little bit more of this. So good. It's really buttery. Let's see, how would I describe this line? Can you hear my dog barking? He's like, let me in. Not while I'm cooking. This is, it just has such a good one. It's just such a good flavor, and the people down there are so nice. Mmm. So I'm gonna hand tear the lettuce. It's a mix of red and green bib lettuce. It gives it some nice color. So Pete and I, my husband, we like to go down to San Luis Obispo. He went to college down there at Cal Poly. And we like to go down there and stay at this really cool place called Sycamore Mineral Springs. And um, there's a great guy down there. His name's Bob, and he gives like the best massage. And then sometimes we'll go like bike riding, and we go to the beach, and we go mountain biking, and 
wine tasting and all kinds of fun stuff over there. Hiking, oh I forgot about the hiking. So yeah, that's, that's where we found that delicious white wine. So I, hopefully we're gonna go down there like in a week or so. We have two simple ingredients, red onion and avocado, and that's it. And I'm just gonna put a hint of each. Because like I said, the chipotle sauce is so yummy that you don't need much else. Save that for later. I'm gonna peel the skin of the onion. Okay, it looks like that's all off. And I just wanna thinly slice a little bit of onion. Like I'd say less than a quarter. Okay, just a few slices. Separate them. On the salad. And next is the avocado. I love avocado. So good for you. A friend of mine has an avocado tree. She's like, Tracy, come pick some. And I just haven't made it over there to do that, but I should make it a point. Uh-oh, when you cut an avocado, what I do is I make like a checkerboard on the inside and then it's super easy to just scoop out. Best trick. I don't remember where I learned it, but it works. All right. I think I'm just going to use a half of an avocado for this amount. And I know that you don't want it to be like overwhelming with flavor, but I always like cheese on salads. I like to have a little bit of cheese, a little bit of nuts, sometimes some fruit, and I'm just guessing on this, so I think that the feta will go good. I'm just gonna put a little bit, maybe a quarter cup or less. Yeah, probably less than a quarter cup, just a few, couple tablespoons of feta. Okay. Next, what we're gonna do is spoon the shrimp onto the salad. Can you see this? See, it's not a huge salad, it's just a couple servings. And then we're going to spoon the shrimp mixture on top of it. So yummy. And scoop all that delicious sauce. It's going to be spicy. And then, in order to dress the salad, all you need is two ingredients. A teeny bit of olive oil, just to coat the lettuce. And I'll toss it later. I want it to look pretty for you. <laughs> and a little bit of balsamic. Like I said, just to coat the lettuce. I can take that off. I guess this is a new one. <laughs> okay, just a little bit of balsamic and a little bit of cracked pepper. Okay, so here we have it. Chipotle shrimp salad and wild horse chardonnay. Bon appetit.